in like I am killing people. Jesus! But today I feel like talking to you guys because why not? I've been uploading content about Japan, right? Everything related to Japan and all, but sometimes I want to talk to you guys, like have a chat with you because I want you to get used to my personality, you know, how I think when I'm not really in an environment where I am asking questions to people or I'm outside and experimenting stuff, right? Because I might leave Japan, never know. I might be in another country in two years, in one year. I don't know. I actually don't know. I wish I knew. If I move to another country, I want still my content to be relevant to you guys. So today I'm going to a uh, birthday party of one of my friends and also a sayonara party because she's going back to france from what i'm seeing outside right now it's so gray and i feel like it's gonna rain and nobody wanna go out when it's raining but i'll try my best i'll have a umbrella or something so i've been feeling a bit down lately i think maybe it's because my boyfriend traveled yeah i know some of you are like oh my god a boyfriend i know i didn't announce it because there are just stuff that i want to keep private and because he's a very private person as well so there's no reason for me per se to be feeling down i think except for the fact that someone has been traveling will you keep quiet <laughs> <laughs> this is stupid i'm just venting <laughs> okay so i want to talk about my content creation journey i'm pretty sure i hope you guys have seen some sort of growth or some sort of amelioration on my channel because i'm, I'm trying to do things right when it comes to what people want to watch i know that my audience is mainly in america and then in japan and then a third place comes france so i'm trying my best to like produce a content that can be really relatable to you guys and also that can be searchable on youtube because i know it's my hobby but it's really nice to be the best at what i'm doing so I'm trying to do just that I'm hating my camera right now because I think when I'm doing zoom in and when I do interviews it's really like blurry it's giving like a not a nice quality so I'm hoping I could have enough money to buy a new camera that's why I'm now I'm pushing content out there so I can like buy a better camera and also have better lighting you know to be able to produce a good content for y'all I think I'm having way too much fun with my hobby which is not the actual main thing that I'm supposed to do in Japan because you guys know some of y'all know in my other vlogs I told you that I'm working in Japan as a part-time worker since like uh, last year April and I also started my doctorate my PhD and I'm also doing modeling and content creation so I have to be really tough on myself when it comes to time management otherwise I would fail on my goal and also because I have that immigrant guilt you know when I sit one hour without doing anything I feel like oh my god Ila what are you doing with your life you're supposed to produce something you're supposed to give results because you are on a certain type of visa where you are bound to the visa so you need to work for that and I don't have permanent residency in Japan so I also have the uh, anxiety like I stress a lot about okay when my visa is gonna end what am I going to do am I going to like uh, extend and it's not always easy for someone who has my nationality in Japan like some nationalities have easier residency in Japan and easier like visa extension or renewal but for African countries at least in my experience it's always like tougher to be able to extend my visa you, you need to produce a crazy amount of documents that are not sometimes in the that the brochure of the actual visa extension regulation so I never understood that so I stress about that which means I need to work a lot more but the problem is in my time management right now it's really crazy because I'm 60% of my time I'm doing my work my like main work and 40% uh, of my time I'm doing content and creation and also like spending time with my loved ones but the thing is normally it should have been like 60% my studies and then 20% my work and 20% my creative journey but unfortunately I need to work to pay for my studies <laughs> which is crazy and I also need to take care of my mental health because I'm in Japan I'm very far from my family and because I'm a sort of social butterfly as well when I don't have my social circle I really become sad cold and depressed and I don't want that at all so I'm trying to fight with time management right now and see what is the best for me how I can do things without well, number one feeling guilty and number two not wasting a lot of time in things that perhaps are not my main goal in Japan the thing is I have so much fun doing content creation also I wanted to tell you guys about some of my trauma that I'm discovering since I'm in Japan it's crazy I, I didn't really know how deep they were until I bought this pillow actually my boyfriend bought this pillow because I was complaining about all the pillows right my father used to tell me when we were younger that sometimes you have nightmares and you think it's like all oh, the witches in the village but it's just the pillow that you're using might be like too hard or too soft so you need to find the right pillow for your head so he bought this pillow for me and boy it's been like reviving all my childhood trauma that I didn't realize I actually had I'm 
having crazy nightmares I think even worse than with my other pillows so I think I'm either going to throw them away but that's not the point the point is I'm still wondering where is that coming from because I was thinking that I reach a level of self-healing where of course I am still healing like it's like a long journey I've been through a lot I'm not going to victimize myself because fuck that just to say that I, I have a lot to deal with and if I had enough money I probably would like consult but I don't have enough money so I have to do some things by myself right I'm being vulnerable so be kind with me so in my nightmares there has been a lot of death Jesus! death in like I am killing people what what the fuck I see so many images and some people that are popping up in my dream that like like I forgot them like they're not even existing but they're just coming and when I wake up in the morning I'm like what the fuck was that oh my god and sometimes it's like influences my day right I'm like what was happening to me also how did I put up with so much bullshit like I'm looking at my past relationship whether it's my family members or like boyfriend or whatever I'm like how did I allow myself to be in such toxic place with narcissistic people like crazy shit and I was calling that love I was thinking that's like normal i'm like how did i do that to myself how did i tolerate that kind of things and now it's just coming back to my life in a period where i don't i don't need that i really don't need that oh yeah the last thing is i bought this new pants pantalon i feel like pants is underwear trouser i guess from shane and i feel really cute in it i look like a typical millennial in it you know let me just show you look at that see this Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's giving it's giving millennial vibe. Typical. And I'm I'm loving it. Like I'm all for it. Anywho, so I'm done venting and showing you my little cute outfit. Now I'm gonna go to this bat day party. And boy, it's far. It's like one hour and 30 minutes from here. So grass, if one day you doubt that I love you, but look at this video, remember that I walked through the valley of death in the rain an hour and 30 minutes train in corona time for your birthday party Thank you. like a bird on a tree i'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small we I'm almost at my friend's place now An hour late Classic And this is what I like about Japanese streets See, it's like almost scary and silent But nothing like can happen to you Yeah, I mean usually Great outdoors. Oh, okay. Alright, so I just reached guys and I'm helping out with uh, the cooking a little bit. I'm making gyoza. Okay, the good thing is that she already knows that I burn stuff, so <laughs> just in case I burn. And I actually forgot to tell you guys that this is my French speaking crew, so this was this was supposed to be a video in French, but
came up a lot of sounds More when I was not around Certain people that I know They ain't no longer about My name came up a lot of sounds More when I was not around Certain people that I know They ain't no longer about My name came up a lot of sounds More when I was not around Certain people that I know They ain't no longer about My name came up a lot of sounds More when I was not around Certain people that I know They ain't no longer about Don't let the ride or die Know that the ride or die I keep boiling on my side Then we hustle but the night we Know that the ride or die Know that the ride or die Elle est rapide, on sait quoi, c'est quoi She was nice. I made new friends. I actually didn't record much about the party because I feel like the discussions were so funny and so nice that I was like, okay, fuck the phone. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed watching this vlog. I'm gonna make more of those. I always say that, but then I end up thinking I don't wanna make vlogs, right? I really, really want to change my camera. Bye. <laughs>